Hello everybody and welcome to Laura's restaurant. Today I am going to be teaching you how I make the world's best taco. If you stay tuned, I'm going to show you the items I'm going to be using and we'll get going, shall we? It's called pork al pastor. Got two of these. The tortillas I'm using are going to be hechas a mano, los uh, quesos de la ricura, which are the thick tortillas. La ricura queso, which is Salvadorian sour cream, Salvadorian cheese, avocado, tomato, limon, okay, this is a limon, half of an onion, cilantro, I also have lechuga, lettuce, I don't know the name of this lettuce, but this is the kind I use. Let's get going. First, I like to prep the salsas and everything like that, so let's use the tomato. Now, the onion. Now we're gonna need some cilantro. Next, you wanna cut the avocado and dice it in there. Okay, so now we are going to limon. Nice and soft. Squeeze in there. Get some salt. generously and stir. I normally don't like making the guacamole. I feel like this is much better for the kind of tacos that I like making. Okay, so now that we're done with this, this is gonna go to the refrigerator and stay there until we're done cooking. And I'll bring you back up, because I know you like looking at my beautiful face. Okay, so pretend that I'm putting on an apron on because I don't have aprons, so that's that. This is the salsa. There we go. That's gonna be sitting on top of my tacos. I also have some sweet plantains that we are going to fry. And then, the last thing I like to do is cook the meat. I like to prep everything else before because this is the most time consuming thing. And then the last thing is gonna be the meat, which takes about 30 minutes to cook. Um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit here and I'll be right back with you. Now that my area is clean, I'm going to start cutting out the plantains. If you didn't know how to cut plantains, I'm gonna show you right now, sorry. I got it out of the way. But this is how you know that they're nice and sweet is when they come off like this, this simple. Next one. Nice and good. Now I have to bring it back down so you can see how I slice them. So, cut it in the middle. start cooking um, gotta get the hair out of the way because you know this is our restaurant this is professional you don't want to mess with 
You don't want any hair on your food or anything like that. And this is Laura's restaurant, so you know we're professional here. Uh, let's start cooking the meat, and then we're gonna start frying plantains. And then the last thing we're gonna be doing are warming up the tortillas. And that's it. And I'll show you the end result. Right, here we go. I'm gonna bring, bringing out the, my beautiful caldero. You know, um, how do you say that in English? I forgot. Pot, yes, the pot. Let's get it. This is a staple in every Spanish household family. And then this one is gonna be for the plantains. Isn't it beautiful? I know. So this one's gonna be for the plantains. It's gonna be sitting here in the front. I'm debating whether I should bring you in close or not. Probably yes, when I start cooking the meat. So there you go, in there. Down and let's bring you in closer so you can see how I start cooking the meat and the plantain. Here we are near the pots. Always put the handle inside because you don't want somebody to come around here, knock it down, get burned. So, yes, I'm gonna start with the pork. Usually, like using medium to high heat, olive oil. A nice drizzle and then my bad you're gonna let that heat up a little bit we'll come back with the plantains it's the same thing I like medium to high heat and you know what I'm just gonna put it on medium for now once it starts to get hot we're gonna throw everything in there let it cook I don't know this is how I test if it's hot enough <laughs> okay it's warm now I do this so Once it starts to simmer like that, I like to add a little bit of water. And this is good to go too, so let's start with the plantain. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back again. Pork, shall we? Looks fantastic. I like to break it up as I go. See that golden breath, that golden color right now, that's what you want to get. I like them a little darker, so I'm going to let them sit for a couple more minutes. Okay, these babies are ready to come out. So what I like to do is that I get a plate and I put paper towel in there so you can soak off some of the oil. I love fried plantains. That's, these are like the best ever. Okay, now let's put more in there. Careful, don't burn yourself. Mm -hmm. 
like I said before, now that I'm done with the plantains, I put them in the microwave to keep warm. This is going to go back to here. To be used again one more time. And this, we're going to put it right in the sink. It's not that I have OCD, but I hate when the stove gets so dirty. It's just a thing. Can't grab onto that right now because obviously it's extremely hot. So I'll wait, but in the meantime, I can clean around it. Laura's restaurant, we keep everything clean, okay? Everything. Now, let's check on these, shall we? Looking good, looking good. The meat is ready. Look at this, how beautiful that smell looks. Amazing. It smells fantastic. So now I'm gonna and I'm gonna push it to the back and let it stay warm because now we're gonna do the tortillas. I don't know how you hold this thing. I don't know. But that's what we use to warm up the tortillas and some people use it to make pancakes, whatever. See, these are thick. That's what I love about them. Put those puppies in here. And then you gotta get a tin foil so you can uh, make sure that they stay warm while you cook the other ones. So, because you're gonna make, try to make a pocket basically where the tortillas are gonna go once they're done. Then, this is where you're gonna throw them in there. So, keep that close. As I'm waiting for this to warm up so I can keep showing you everything, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you come back every Tuesdays and Thursdays to check out what I'm doing. By the way, happy Taco Tuesday. We are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is take my little pocket and just slide it in there for the meantime. These are hot. But, all right, these are ready, so I'm gonna put them in my little pouch. And then the pouch, I'm gonna just set it here so it can stay warm. I'm taking this tortilla here, and I'm gonna bring you up and close so you can take a look at how I make everything happen. Come on. All right, so this is the final stretch. I, right here, I'm gonna do the tortilla and then I'm gonna show you how I set it up. And let's go, let's do it. You're gonna grab some beans. Just a little bit. Like so. Then I like to grab the meat. Like that. The topping that we made earlier. A little bit of queso. And some crema. Just a tiny bit. And there you have it. 
This is my famous taco. Suggestion for you. You're gonna take the same thing. Instead of the tortilla, we're gonna use lettuce. And you're gonna add a little bit of beans. Some meat. Avocado, salsa. A little bit of the cotija cheese. Can get it out. Okay, there we go. And ending it with the crema. And there we go. This is a healthier version of the world's best taco. I'm gonna try this one too. So, bon appetit. I'm gonna grab it. Tuck it in like this. And take a bite. We also have so yeah, that's it. That's it for now for Laura's restaurant. I'm gonna be open right after you know this pandemic thing is over. So for right now, until this whole pandemic thing is over, I'm gonna be just be giving you special classes of how I make the world's best foods. Today we did the tacos, which with carnitas al pastor, and then we'll figure out what else we can cook from there. Don't forget, as usual, like and subscribe, and then I'll see you sometime next week. Bye!